Okay, let's take a look at sample exam 2, Chem 11, number 18. This question gives us a solution, then, and it tells us that it may contain one of these ions. And so what we have to do is figure out which ions are present in our solution. So it could be one or more of those ions. Okay, and so we start with just imagining the problem. So there is, could be that ion, that ion, or, or that ion. And we have to figure out based on the observations that we have, which is given right here. A way to solve this problem is really to use the solubility rules. So let's take a look at the first observation. And the main thing to keep in mind before we start looking at the observation is that these are all cations. So the key to look for in the observation is when we're adding something like NaCl or Na2SO4 and AOH is to think about what the anions from those compounds will do to the cations that we have. So let's do that. First, we're adding NaCl. NaCl would break apart into Na plus and Cl minus. It's a soluble salt. In billy rules, chloride is always soluble except when it's paired up with three ions. Mercury one is one of them, lead and silver. It tells us that when we add NaCl, we don't see any precipitate. It means that mercury must not be present in our solution. So let's take a look at condition number two. Now it says we add sodium sulfate. So sodium sulfate, also a soluble salt, breaks apart into sodium and sulfate. What's the solubility rules say about sulfate ion? Well, sulfate is always soluble, but there's certain exception. It's going to precipitate with barium, the lower end of group two uh, cations, and then also lead. Okay? So these are the guys who would precipitate. So the results say no precipitate. So if there's no precipitate, then we can't have any one of these three guys in it, which means barium is now out of the running. And then the last one we're going to take a look at is sodium hydroxide, which again will break apart into sodium and hydroxide ion. Well, hydroxide actually would precipitate with almost everything with exceptions. So it stays soluble with group one and the lower group two, which is barium and strontium. It says that a precipitate is observed when we add sodium hydroxide, which means that since we rule out the first two, the only thing left that would precipitate the um, anion hydroxide in this case must be manganese 2. So therefore, manganese 2 must be the ion that we have in our solution.